All right. Good morning, everyone. It is May 12th, Tuesday. This is your Mind Body Soldier Community Prayer. We're so grateful to be here with you this morning. We're here with Susan. We're here with Linda. Um, Linda, you want to get started or you want me to go? I'll go ahead and start. Okay, good. good morning, everybody. Go ahead and bow your head. Close your eyes. And I want you to think about a prayer for yourself. So we often neglect ourselves as we care for others. But it's important to think about ourselves first so that we can care for others. So this morning, dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us to come together. My first prayer for today is all about me. I don't know what the heck's going on with me, but Lord, give me some strength. I got things I got to do, right? <laughs> I so very much wanted to stay in bed this morning, but I want to be here. You know, we all have conflicting wants and it gets even harder to decide what to do when we don't feel good. So just give me strength. Let me stay on course and go through my day as I'm supposed to. I want to pray for my cousin Tanya. She's asked for prayers for a friend of hers who is in renal failure. And I know that that is a horrible feeling watching my husband go through renal failure and just the toll that it takes on the body. So pray for for her friend and then give him peace and comfort and knowing that, you know what, those things can be turned around. Mm -hmm. Just whatever your will is, I ask that that be done. I want to watch over Caitlin as she starts her journey to North Carolina to be with her family and just to help her and give her peace and keep her safe. Let the kids be good. Give her some strength and guidance. I want to pray for my friend MJ, nothing particular, as you know what's in her heart and what's on her mind. Just praying for her and her strength. And I want to pray for my friend Jordan as she prepares to move to her new home. She's so excited to start in this new chapter of her life and just give her some guidance and comfort knowing that she's headed in the right direction. All right, Jack, take it away. Uh, Lori, good morning. I'm so blessed to be here this morning and I know the word blessed people laugh as it's a hashtag that could be overused but I think it's never overused truly because down to the air in our lungs and I will say this over and over and over again to the food that nourishes our body to the water that we get to drink we are we are forever blessed whether we have turmoil going on in our lives we have something that didn't go our way we throw a hissy fit we're still blessed and I want that reminder to go out there every each and every day Lord I want to pray over our mind body soldier tribe that you continue to guide their paths. It's so easy to go off focus and where you're not supposed to be because distraction and shiny things. But Lord, our eternal purpose here is to serve you. And to do that, we need to come to you. We need to get into the word. We need to seek wise counsel. Guide your warriors, your conquerors, as we walk forward in your purpose, Lord. Just take care. Put your hands on those that need you on those that don't even know they need you on all of us, Lord, because we need to walk hand in hand, side by side with you, Lord. I just pray over Jess's best friend as they just had some scary news that she has a cyst on her brain, Lord. You know what it is, the purpose behind it. You will serve it. You will take it and you will use it for good, but put your healing hands on her. Help us to get answers and just lay your hands of peace over them as they wait to find out more information on this. I want to pray over my friend Jean, who's still battling cancer who is still an everyday inspiration to me, Lord. I just love and adore her so much. I want to pray over um, my dogs whining yet again. <laughs> I love him every single day. And I don't know, he's trying to say something. So help me to understand what my dog needs. Um, I want to pray over um, my kids, Lord, as we start to enter our new normal here in Florida as things start to open back up and life gets a little bit busier, help us to stay focused on you. Um, and we just really need your, your, your help to remove the strongholds in our lives, Lord God, um, that you would come in and heal the broken, that my bird sanctuary would just continue to flourish, <laughs> clearly. Um, I pray that you will bind up and remove the wounds from our hearts, Lord, just from all of us. There's so much unintentional hurt in our bodies, in our minds, in our souls, and it affects us every day, whether we know it or not. So Lord, I ask that you help us to see where that hurt lies today and that we can ask you to remove it from us, that, we, that you give us the strength to say, God, I was never meant to handle this. Please take it, remove it from me as I move forward in your journey, not mine. We know you are for us, Lord. 
So just remind us of that. Help us to take every thought captive every single day because we know that the impossible has never stopped you. We pray for miracles, Lord, here on earth because we know that death was never intended for us, Lord God. It was never part of the plan, but we know that here on earth that we can have an incredible life, whether it be hard, it can still be rewarding, Lord. So just help us to see that and, and continue to just shine your light as we walk. Um, let's see. I pray over my sister and sisters and brother and mom and, and family. Um, I pray over our, our myself, Lord, as we continue to walk in our decision on where to live. Um, our house in Vermont as that goes up for sale possibly on Friday if the real estate market opens back up or probably in the next few weeks as we still have things to do. Um, but Lord, that you will have someone who will cherish that home as much as we did. It is so, it's such a beautiful place and I know it's just a place, but you know, our memories were there and our growth was there and we had our second baby there. So Lord, I just pray over that and I pray over our decision to where to go as a family. Um, as you know, our lease is coming up in September. Do we stay here and just continue to rent or do we Go ahead and find a house and not pour our money into no man's land. Um, just, just help us. Just make it clear because I am so tired of worrying about it. And I am so tired of trying to figure out what we're supposed to do. So just take it away from me completely, entirely, and let me focus on what you've called me to do instead of house hunting every single second of every day. Um, I think that's it. Susan, did you have anything you wanted to add in? Yeah, actually, I will. Um, as I'm sitting here, Lord, listening to Linda and Jack and their eloquent words, and I um, know that I represent here someone as a new believer that can feel inadequate sometimes in prayer. And I know, Lord, for you, it does not need to be fancy or all these words that we just have to speak from our heart. So I'm here bravely doing that, and I know that you appreciate that. Um, the first thing I want to do is say a prayer for myself as I work to lose the extra 30 pounds that I have on Lord that I remember that I can do nothing in my flesh that is all through you and your strength and then I stop striving and I look to you for that strength and guidance in that area and I know as I release things to you as far as like forgiveness or guilt or doubt or fear that the weight will come off because with that the release of all those emotions that are holding holding me back from losing the weight um, I would like to pray that as in my life as I harvest um, more and reap more that I make sure that I look around me and that I share that harvest. I share your word that you bring to me and all the mind, body, soldier tribe, the people that are lost and broken that um, we remember to look and see them in the grocery stores. We see them at the gas stations. We see them anywhere and that um, we don't judge that when we see someone on social media and we put ourselves in a position that maybe I may think, oh, I'm better than them one way or the other, that Lord, you'll remind me that you're all created equal, that you love each of us in your eyes perfectly. Um, I pray of my family. I pray that Don um, would, would find you, Lord, that some way you would speak to him and he would know that you are real, that you are for him and that you love him. I pray this also over my daughter, Lincoln. Both of them are lost to you, Lord, and you can help um, find them. I also pray for my friend Katie and Paul. Paul is pancreatic cancer and he is in the end stages and it's so troublesome for him and his wife and his daughter. So I pray over them um, for their, your love and protection and guidance through this difficult time. And I think that's it. I just want to say thank you for the blessings in my day that I may appreciate them and that I love you, Lord, and I love this tribe and these women. Amen. Amen. It's so hard for me to pray in front of other people, you guys. So this is so good for me. It just feels so awkward. Linda comes on so nicely and I'm like, ah, what am I going to say? No idea. So the most amazing thing is when I'm going to make you go back and watch this, that part is because you have no idea that when we pray out loud, we're not praying. It's not our, it's not our words. It's not any, like, it's just God. And I had to, took me years to trust that. And now I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm going to just immediately give it to God. God, just take over. Like I have some notes here of people, you know, words that are key words that stick out to me. Um, but it's not necessarily our words. It's always him coming through us because when we are called to pray, whether it be out loud or in our heads or whatever, the words are never have to be perfect, but they're his words. He, he, he gives you what to pray over. And if you ever forget something, you can pray again. That's yeah. a beautiful part. Yeah, okay, go do it again. Like when you were praying. Well, it's over. just like anything. I know the more I do it, the more comfortable I'll be. And I don't want that to hold me back. That's a stupid barrier, right? Like you, 
So I yeah. haven't cracked for a really long time. And I was like, what the heck? Like they would ask me to pray. And I was like, why? Like up until almost this year, seriously. And I'm like, really? I remember Tracy too, being the same way feeling. Mm -hmm. Susan, you bring up a really good point that I think that a lot of people struggle with is that, that worry again, it's worry about not knowing what to say. And if, you know, the one of the main lessons that I hold on to that I learned, you know, through my faith and through church is that worry is equivalent to a sin because when you fill your mind with worry, things that you can't control, there's no room to be, to hear, or to see, or to feel what, what God needs to tell you or what he's trying to show you. It's a block. You know, you are cutting yourself off. You're putting that wall up. And so even the worry of, oh my gosh, what do I say? That's an effort we're worrying and we're trying to control something that we shouldn't be controlling. You know, it's okay to have something to pray for like that, but you know, it's instead of worrying about, okay, what do I say? It's just open your mind and let God come. Let the light shine through. <laughs> well, I see it by Jack. She's praying for the birds. Amen. She's praying for the kids. She's praying for oh, whatever. My is crying whatever. at me. There's always something like the dog. Now he's sitting quietly. Like, look. Okay. Yeah. There he is. Calmly <laughs> sitting because I'm not trying to focus. I got the birds. Like, what was that? A bird show? Like, come All on. Right. They were fine before we started praying. And it's every distraction will come into <laughs> your mind when you are praying. And that's <laughs> okay, I'm never going to have a silent time to pray. Does that mean I shouldn't pray? No, it means just keep going on. Like, I love the birds that are here and you're very loud. <laughs> you know, you should be grateful you're sitting outside. Oh, heck yeah, I am. Every day, every single day, I'm grateful for, for Florida. For the <laughs> um, all right, if we uh, can pray over you, please let us know. Good morning, Emily. We're so happy you're here with us. I said it earlier, but I forgot I was muted. So it was awkward. Like you could read my mouth. Um, but yeah, let us know how we can pray over you. Reach out to us, mindbodysoldiers at gmail.com. Find us on Instagram, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, send us a message. Like we are here for you. We would love to pray over you. Um, when two or more gather in his name, his great works are done and even more powerful if that's a thing. I mean, that's crazy. So if you don't have um, a tribe that you can pray with, a tribe you can lean in on, like just come to us, let us help you. Um, God tells us to seek wise counsel and that's really hard to do when you're starting out your journey and you don't have a wise counsel to talk to, to ask questions to, and they will not judge you no matter what the enemy tells you because he told me that lie for years that they would judge me, that I was stupid, that I didn't have any biblical knowledge, that I had no, like, why would they want to talk to you about God? That is a lie. And I believed it for so long. I believe that the questions about Jesus that everybody should know I had no idea. And a lot of people don't. So please come to us. Let us help you. Let us guide you. Um, no question is a stupid question. I will make you do some research because that's what we like to do here. But, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> I knew I'd get you sparked up, Linda. So we love you. We love you. We, love you. Um, we hope you have a blessed day. Bye, guys.